Hey, what up? CKID here, and today we're going to be continuing talking about this cool wearable keyboard and mouse device here called Tap. Now, if you are following the channel, then you remember I did a full unboxing and setup of this device and how to actually get started. Well, since I've had the opportunity to use this device for a little while now, I wanted to focus today's video simply on some practical uses for something like this and how I actually personally use it on a day-to-day -day basis. Dang, I actually just realized I need to charge this thing up. Oh, well, I guess that's the power of editing. Let's go ahead and roll the intro. Hey, what's going on? This is CKID, and I'm back with more hotness like a third degree. Burn, you learn the words and better memory. I'm giving inside tech, it's like a secrecy. Now, this is where I was, and this is where I will be. By showing love and likes in the comics, it's basic chemistry. It ain't just a thought, this is what I foresee. Now, hit that subscribe button right now and make reality. Let's go. All right, welcome back. Now that we actually have this thing fully charged up, shout out to editing. Now my last video with this device, I gave you all an unboxing and how to actually set this device up, as well as a quick overview of what it actually does. Now if you haven't watched that video yet, I'll have a link in the description below. Go ahead and check that out and make sure to come right back here. So we're gonna be focusing more on the practical uses for a futuristic device like this. So my first thing that I wanna talk about is the remapping feature. So what this will essentially do is allow you to remap the default keys that are mapped to this device to whatever you feel comfortable with. For example, let's say you don't actually agree or like where the letter A is mapped using your thumb. Well, with the remapping tool, this would allow you guys to be able to create personal custom key mapping text profiles and upload them to your tap manager app that I talked about in that other video that you guys should check out and then essentially create a profile for that newly custom created mapping. So for me, what I like to use the mapping for is for when I'm actually using this for gaming. For a specific game, I have text profiles that are created that I can quickly upload and load onto the tap keyboard and then I'm ready to use for that specific game. So let's say for instance, I'm playing a game like Tomb Raider and I wanna map my keys to be able to switch weapons pretty quickly. I can essentially go in and actually change what those keys are are inside of the mapping tool to where it's something easier like maybe my index finger and my middle finger or my thumb and my ring finger. I can easily make those to be able to switch weapons in and out to whatever I want those to be. So one of the things that I was worried about was let's say while I'm gaming and I receive a text message or an email from a friend that I would like to respond back to right away. Now am I stuck in this custom assigned gaming key mode that I have created until I upload the default back? Well Tap actually thought that through and I must say it works pretty good. All you have to do is double tap the letter X and it will allow you guys to be able to toggle between the profiles. Now you will feel a subtle vibration to let you know that you have switched between the profiles and I was a little bit skeptical at first, but I must admit that feature actually works very well. Now besides gaming, I tend to use mine to surf the web if I'm going to one of my favorite sites like IGN or when I'm looking up gaming info or hanging out with you guys over on Twitter or if I'm looking up product information of maybe a product I want to get on the channel for you guys or even if I'm switching things up and going from my computer to my phone, um, it has that versatility so I tend to use it for that as well. Now I did actually try to use this to edit one of my videos and yeah, it can be done. It's challenging, but uh, not ideal. Now I do wanna be clear with you guys and upfront that this device is cool to use, but it does take and require a learning curve. Now I will say that it's an intuitive tool to use, but it takes repetition to continue to feel comfortable with it. Now it's just like learning how to use a keyboard and mouse for the first time. Now once you've learned the movements of the mouse and the position of the keys, then you're pretty much just off to the races and exploring the web and gaming and things like that. But I did want to be upfront with you guys before you all purchase one for yourself that there is a bit of a learning curve with this device. And last before I leave you guys until the next video, I wanted to throw in there that their development team is always improving things on this device and they're pushing updates to keep your device running smooth. Now in the beginning, I must admit I did experience some mouse issues that wasn't functioning as smooth as I would have liked but with that latest firmware update it has seemed to fix that issue so kudos to the team over there for continuously improving this device via software updates now I like it when companies are doing that because it lets me know that I didn't just buy a product that they pushed out to the world and they're not monitoring its activity or listening to consumers feedback to improve upon its products so whenever I have a product by a company that actually care about their consumers overall experience and not just out to make a quick buck then to me that company gets put on my favorite companies list well guys 
guys, that about wraps up today's video on how I typically use my wearable keyboard and mouse. Go ahead and drop me a comment below if you have any questions or interested in or want to see a video on. Go ahead and also let me know how would you actually plan to use this device and what games do you think that you'll be able to use this on. Let's go ahead and hang out in the comments for a bit. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You guys already know the drill by now. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.